Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really good day. Today I'm going to be doing a neon eye tutorial. I did this eye look in my video where I tried out the new Dewy Wet n Wild foundation. And one of my subscribers, one of you guys, asked for me to do a step-by-step -step video and see how I did this look. So that is what we're going to do today. I'm also going to try and incorporate the January BoxyCharm items. We're going to kind of like combine two videos together. I'm not going to use all BoxyCharm items, but I am going to use some of them. Some new stuff that I got. So yeah, that's what this video is going to be about. It's basically like a get ready with me with the neon eye look and using some January BoxyCharm stuff. So it's going to be a weird one. So let's jump right into the video. Okay guys, so here is the BoxyCharm box. Um, this is actually a really good month. So the theme for this month is Break the Ice. So I'm going to run through all the products that I got and then we're going to start this neon eye look. So the first thing I got was this Skin & Co. Aroma Truffle Therapy Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Gommage. That's like bougie as hell. This is what it looks like and it's actually really nice. I used it yesterday. It smells like almonds. I also got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask and this is like the little mini and this is like glass. I have not used this yet but it smells really good and it's super cute. I like the little packaging. And then I got this Mana, Mana? I don't know how to say this. It's a Mana Beauty Simplified Liquid Lipstick in the shade lip whip dream and this is what it looks like that is what that looks like really really pretty and then i got from pretty vulgar which i'm super excited for this this is their undercover concealer and this is in the shade the middle ground this is what it looks like i'm super excited to try this today and that is what it looks like which is crazy that they send me like a complexion product because that absolutely never happens with um, BoxyCharm, so I'm excited for that. And then I also got this Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk Palette. Look how pretty the packaging is on this. And then on the inside, this is what it looks like. So there are some neon colors in here that I'm going to try and to incorporate into this video, but I'm primarily going to use the Orange Neon Palette by Huda Beauty. This is what it looks like, and that's the palette that I used in that wet and wild video and these are all the colors this palette is awesome i love how small it is i love all the colors you get in here so i also got in the mail which is this is not a part of the um boxy charm but this is the elf putty eye primer which i really really want to try today so i'm gonna open it up this one is in the shade cream this feels super dry i don't know if it's like just the formula but it almost kind of reminds me of like a very thick concealer and i'm just going to set that with a little bit of powder so to start off, I'm going to jump into that Neon Palette by Huda Beauty, and I'm going to use this shade right here. I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics number 16 brush. I am obsessed with this brush for blending. It is, I don't even know, it is so freaking good. So I'm just going to pop this into the crease, not going too high, about that high, just in the crease, and then I'm going to use a different shade to blow that out. I'm just doing windshield wiper motion, just going back and forth and just kind of creating a little bit of halo into the crease. And it literally takes two seconds to build up the color, which is insane. Okay, so that is basically, that's what we're starting with. And then I'm going to start and take this middle shade, which is this one right here. It's almost like a macaroni shade. Like, you know when you used to get that big like crayon thing like it's that macaroni and cheese shade i'm just gonna put this on the outer edges kind of blowing that out okay just like that that's what we're starting off and then i'm gonna take the aoa studio brush number e128 sorry this brush is very dirty i am obsessed with this brush it is perfect for inside the crease so now I'm going to take this shade right here. I wish these had names, but they don't. It's almost like a darker orange. I'm basically just going, if this was tic-tac-toe, I'm basically going diagonally, like all, like just like that. So I'm gonna start off with that color and pop that into the crease just to deepen it. Look at the difference, and that took me like two seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. 
I'm just gonna add like a tiny bit more of that um, like macaroni and cheese shade on the outer corner just so we don't lose that. And I'm just gonna keep building up that color. I'm gonna take that NYX blending brush and just blend that into the orange. So everything is seamless. I didn't use this color when I did this eye look originally, but I kind of really want to use a little bit of this crimson shade in the um, Ace Beauty palette. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the same AOA Studio brush, just like a tiny bit, and kind of work that into the outer corner. That just makes it a little bit more orange. Time to cut the crease. Now, to, to cut the crease, I'm gonna use the AOA Studio um, Liquid Concealer. I really like this to cut the crease. I don't wanna use the Pretty Bulgur because I can already tell it's not gonna be a good cut crease concealer. And I'm using the Morphe 461 brush. I love this brush to cut my crease because it is very like a circle and that will always help you. First thing I'll do is just lay the concealer on the bottom. You can tell that this concealer is not only pigmented but has high coverage. So that is basically what you want. So I'll put it on the bottom and then just look up and then it already gives you the line that you need to follow. You see what I'm saying? How pigmented this concealer is? It is the bomb for cut creases. So I am going to let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is done. I'm telling you, do not sleep on this $1.55 concealer. It is. Bomb. So it's really important when you do a cut crease to make sure that your concealer is dry. Otherwise, you're gonna put concealer back into your pan, which um, no thank you. So the shimmer I'm gonna start off with is this one right here. I'm using a Wet n Wild concealer brush. I am obsessed with these and they are a dollar. So I'm just gonna start building this up. So that is what that looks like. I think it looks so freaking pretty. So on the inner corner, I'm gonna take a little bit of this orange, which is this one right here. Just kind of with my finger, I'm gonna put that in that inner corner just to give it a little bit of difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is all finished for the outer corner. I'm gonna use this beautiful purple shade, which is this one right here. And it's almost like a violet shade. And I'm gonna pop that on the outer corner. Okay, so that is basically the look. I think it looks so pretty. When I first did this, I was like so freaking happy with it. I think it looks so good. So let me go ahead and prime my skin, put some foundation on. I will try out the Pretty Vogler concealer and then I will finish up the rest of my makeup and then we can put the finishing touches on the eyes, like doing the under eye and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. I am ready to try this Pretty Vulgar Concealer. Uh, for foundation, I ended up mixing the Milani Screen Queen and the Milani Conceal Perfect, which is basically the video I did last. So this concealer, actually I actually really like the doe foot. It's almost like a like uh, Barbie shoe or Barbie foot, you know what I mean? So this should be a good shade for this look. I feel like this foundation or this concealer is going to be very hydrating. Okay, so let's start pouncing this in. So I can kind of tell that this has zero coverage. This blended out like a dream though. Okay, so let me start blending. Definitely a hydrating formula. You can kind of see my under eyes look a little bit like hydrated, but like no coverage is probably the thing I'm thinking, like very minimal coverage, I would say sheer coverage. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. I like how hydrating it is, but like I definitely need a little bit more coverage, but it's not bad at all. Like sometimes I don't want like a camo concealer from e.l.f. Like that stuff is freaking so like high coverage. Like sometimes you just want something a little bit lighter. This is actually really nice. I'm not mad at it at all. So let me go ahead and powder and do all the rest of the stuff I have to do. And then we will finish up the eyes. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so my face makeup is basically all done. So let's jump back into the eyes and try to do this bottom lash line. So I'm going to do basically the same thing that I did on my eyes. I'm gonna start off with this color right here and I am going to use this AOA Studio E115, it's just like a straight edge brush. And I'm just gonna put this as close 
to the lash line as possible, just like that, and do the same thing on the other eye. And then I'm gonna take a pencil brush, which this one is the Moda, or excuse me, this is the Moda Pro BMX 420. That sounds like a bike. And then I'm gonna kind of mix together this shade and the middle shade, which is like that macaroni and cheese shade. I feel like if Huda Beauty found out that I was calling it that, they'd be really upset. And I'm just gonna smoke out the bottom lash line. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this AOA Studio E134, a tiny pencil brush, and I'm gonna take this neon shimmer in here, which is like insane. This one right here, and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. Woo, just like that. And I'm not gonna use that neon color for my brow bone just cause I don't think it'll be look good on the brow bone, so I'm just gonna use this shade Aruba in the Ace Beauty palette. I'm gonna use the same brush, I'm just gonna clean it off. If you ever add way too much shimmer on your brow bone, which literally is my struggle every day of the week, just take the shade that is closest to your brow bone and kind of mix it in there, that way everything looks a little bit better. I'm just using that macaroni and cheese shade. I think everything looks really good. Um, I am really liking this palette. I can't wait to do a full look just with this because there's some beautiful cranberry colors in here. So I'm excited for that. But I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on and lashes and then we'll finish up this look with the lips. So I'll be right back yet again. Okay guys, so lashes are on. I'm wearing the Ardell Double Demi Wispies out of my Wispies pack that I got at TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna line my lips. I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the shade 1993, just because it's in front of me. Okay, so let's try out this Mana liquid lipstick. Definitely one of like those oily liquid lipsticks where it's like super slidey already the lips. I have not worn a matte liquid lipstick in so long. Okay, I think that looks really pretty. Definitely does not go with the eyes at all, but I think it looks really pretty. Um, and it's definitely matting down, and I think once it dries, it'll definitely be kiss-proof. So it's definitely very sticky, which I do not like, but like very sticky, like it's hard to chalk. So I'm gonna put a gloss over it for the love of God. So I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie. This is what it looks like. I freaking love this gloss. It's like the perfect shade. So definitely does not match my eyes by any means, but it's nice. I like it so much better with the gloss. So let me go through the BoxyCharm stuff. I know I didn't use everything on camera because some of the stuff was skincare, but I really do like the Skin & Co um, face Gomash, gomash. I like this a lot. I think it's nice. I'll definitely be using it in the future. I cannot wait to try the Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I feel like everyone on Instagram and on the internet has talked about this, so I'm super excited to try it. It almost smells like cucumbers and watermelon, so I really like that. I like the Pretty Vulgar Conceal. It definitely does not have a lot of coverage, but I like it a lot. And I love this palette. I really is, even though I only use like a few shades out of this, definitely every single shade is pigmented and I really like it. And it's also very like small and compact, so I like that a lot. The only thing I didn't like was the lipstick. Definitely not for me, but I'm gonna have to donate this or toss it. But everything else was great. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this video was definitely like a weird one. Um, definitely didn't have a ton of structure. I love this look. It is so pretty. This palette, even though it is a higher end brand, literally is amazing. They have two other colors. They have like a, a yellow neon and like a purple one, which I so want to get. Definitely the Ace Beauty has some neon colors in here, just that orange, which is called crimson so i feel like you can kind of do the similar look with it not exactly the same but a similar one let me know down in the comments um what you got in your january boxy charm and the stuff that you love from that box also let me know if there's any videos you want to see on my channel any eye looks you want to see because i absolutely always do it any suggestions you have i will always do as long as it's in reason 
Um, but yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoy it. I hope you guys have a really good one and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.